Hi, I'm Brian from Syntax Energies. You can contact me with this information. Please go to facebook.com slash Syntax Technologies to like my page so that you can have all the latest information regarding my company and also SQL Accounting System. I'm one of the dealers for SQL Accounting System. You may also go to youtube.com slash Syntax Technologies and get all the previous tutorial video for SQL Accounting System. In today's lesson, I'll continue with SQL Payroll System, Human Resource, Maintain Employee. Okay, over here to create a new employee, just click the new button. You need to assign a code for your employee. If you do not have the code, you need to create one for them. Example 001. You can skip the job title. The series should be active and we put in the name for the employee so select the gender date of birth for example address phone email new ic number old ic number let's say it's a foreigner you need to put in the password so grouping you can group the employee according to branch, HR group, department, category, and so on. When you go in, there's no selection for you. If you want to create, for example, the branch, very easy. Just go to the new, then it will take you to the creation of that particular field. Then you can put in all the family information, especially for spouse. name, address, phone, text brand, text number, and IC number. Okay. The most important would be the payroll info. You need to select the wages type, construction, C. All this I'll explain in tomorrow's lesson. Wages is the basic salary, for example, 5000 Which bank you want to pay? The bank account, EF number, for example, soft number, you can skip because currently Malaysia government is using your IC number as your social number. What is the tax number? Whether you are single or married. How many tax deduct child? Okay, if you have any children that's tax deductible, you need to consider whether they are deducted under you or your spouse spouse working or not then it will automatically determine your tax category for example I change to Matthew, you see the tax category will automatically change to the particular category. let's say you have a ES number another thing you need to consider is you must put in the job let's say you already forgot what is the job just put somewhere one year ago or two years ago but remember this will affect your leave so for example let's say you have a policy that more than one year the leave number of annual leave is uh, 16 two years above is 18 so the joint date will determine how many days of leave you have so you can the confirm date also you can put in the allowance so as you can see there's no allowance you can also go to the maintenance of allowance I'll teach it in future lesson deduction not. you can put in the photo history will be automatically any changes to the employee particulars will be recorded over here attachment you can attach resume of the MD or other document that is related so you can save the details I'll repeat the most important will be give a code for the employee the name gender the basic information then go to payroll 
and this part you can skip the rest without king first so then you have a employee for your record that's all for today i'm brian from syntax technologies you can contact me with this information thank you